What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have an exciting unboxing to do for you guys. This is something that I'm putting a lot of stock in on being a phenomenal knife. We shall soon see. So, first up, we'll cover what I have in the pockets today. The brand spanking new to me. Kunwu S Tau in Vanex Super Clean Steel. You have a Tamascus pivot collar, all orange peel finish on the titanium, and then a wire pocket clip. Great, great pocket knife, guys. Uh, absolutely love this thing. And I loved it when I first opened it, but it has really, really grown on me. So, We'll use the channel unboxing knife from now on. Remember the cold steel tough light. And guys, if you have not experienced a cold steel tough light yet, I highly, highly recommend snagging yourself one. Aus 8 steel, nice pill shaped hole for deployment, hollow ground, worn cliff blade, full finger choil, nice nicely finished frn handles triad lock you do have a pocket clip yes it is tip up carry or tip down carry but for this style of knife just being fully utilitarian i think that is perfectly acceptable uh for this knife and then you have a nice big lanyard spot if you want to tie off a lanyard on here so let's get into this guy. This is a, a newer knife, and I it just came out within the last couple of weeks. And I don't have a ton of knives from this company, but I am putting a lot of stock in this thing being good. So we'll dig into this guy. It's, it's wrapped like this because it came with a different item that I ordered. Uh, but it luckily it was still wrapped up, but it was in the box. So that way I could at least do an unboxing on it. Before we open this guy up, if you're new here and you like knife content, EDC content, you might as well hit that subscribe button down below because that's what I do here. And give the video a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. And you can leave me a comment down below. Anything that you want. Just write it. And hit send, baby. Hit that send. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. So, here we go. I can't deal with this anymore. We're just going to cut her open and see what happens. So, can you tell what it is? Yeah. So we'll get rid of that. We'll keep this guy handy just in case. Looks like we're going to need it. So this is a petrified fish. And if that name rings a bell, that's because petrified fish makes the beluga. So it comes with a sleeve, and then it has a two-stage box that you got to cut the tabs on. So pretty good packaging for a budget knife. I think they come with a, they do, they come with a cleaning cloth. And from what I remember, the cleaning cloths are pretty good quality. And then now they are coming with a sticker also, which they didn't used to. So Petrified Fish is definitely stepping up their packaging game. And it comes with extra hardware, which I didn't know. So that's awesome. So you get some extra hardware with the knife. And you get a desiccant packet that you can chew on. So we'll slide that stuff out of the way. 
comes in a Ziploc baggie. And this guy has awesome looking blue micarta, which isn't something you typically see. A lot of them, it's black, natural, or green. In this case, you get very nice blue micarta. It's very reminiscent of Kaiser's micarta. Not quite as fuzzy, but pretty close, I would say, to Kaiser's micarta. Maybe just a step under. You have the petrified fish logo there on the top. And that's one thing I like about petrified fishes. They do this on the logo, and then they typically keep the blades pretty sterile. So we'll give it a reverse flick, maybe. There we go. So there is your blade. It is a coated K110. And it's like, it's more of a, a straight back than anything. Straight back drop point blade. And then you have a nice little half fuller there. And then also a front flipper. And Petrified Fish typically does a good job with their front flippers. This one seems like no, no exception. The Beluga front flipper was pretty good. I would say this one's actually better. I think it is better, actually. Seems more intuitive than the Beluga. The Beluga's was a little... A little shorter than this one is. You have good access to that liner. A nice chamfer through the micarta. The liner does have a chamfer on it, which is a good, good step from Petrified Fish. Easy to manipulate this guy. Definitely breaking in as I flick it, which is nice. K110 is, if you're wondering, it's like a, it's, it's another form of D2. So you're going to be getting a good quality steel here with the K110. Uh, the, the knives that I've gotten from Petrified Fish that have the K110 steel, all do a phenomenal job as far as corrosion resistance, especially when they have their coating on them. They have good edge retention and they're very tough. So K110 uh, at the price point, which of this knife in particular right here comes in right around 48 bucks. And this one, is called the petrified fish viking and the the video is not really doing the micarta much justice it looks good through the video let me do a little switcheroo here and i'll bring it up even bigger but it's there that's a little better so it is nice and shiny blue it's it's a lot brighter looking than what it looks like on film it's almost like an oceany blue. You do have a quarter micarta backspacer there, and it has an integrated lanyard loop there for all the lanyard fans. Deep carry steel rollover pocket clip. You have Petrified Fish's little emblem there. You do have a recessed pocket clip along with recessed screws. So, Petrified Fish is really listening to what people have to say as far as what they want out of their pocket knives. Uh, would I have preferred this in 14C28N? Yeah, sure. Uh, 48 bucks, K110, amazing build quality, micarta, all blacked out hardware, completely sterile blade. Feels nice and thin down there. Your blade stock is pretty thin up top. 
great access to the liner, great action. This thing, the wax out of there. That sounds amazing. Uh, my favorite one from Petrified Fish so far has been the Beluga 1A and the Victor 1B. Uh, I love the size of the Beluga. If that had a little better finishing, maybe on the micarta or what have you, just a little bit better material choice as far as the micarta. The micarta was decent, but could have been a lot better. Uh, and in this case, they definitely stepped up their micarta. This is fuzzy. It's it's just a step under Kaiser's. Uh, if you look at like CJRB's micarta, I would say, depending on what you like, it's either just as good or better than CJRB's. Uh, CJRB's is a little smoother, where this actually has some texture to it. It's a little rougher feeling. I don't know if we can get a close-up. There we go. I really like this micarta. I like the looks of it. I like the looks of this blade. It almost has an upsweep to it, but it really is more of a straight back drop point. Uh, let's go to this exploded view. So it has amazing action right out of the box. It's pretty hydraulic. It's got a stiff detent. Uh, it's not too stiff, but it's it's pretty pretty good i would say i would say it is very well tuned uh for the reverse flick for the thumb flick for the front flipper yeah the thumb flick and reverse flick are awesome the front flipper feels really good you can do the typical rollover with your pointer finger of course, the normal thumb over. And this thing thwacks out. Great sounds. And then you can do the reach around or the reach over. So I am a big fan of this. When I saw this, I said, man, that might be the best petrified fish yet. I could just tell that it in the pictures, and I saw, I think, one video of this already. Uh, I forget whose it was, but it just looked very well done, very well built. And like I said, I wish that it had 14C, and it would be an absolute grand slam home run. Uh, you're getting about eight and a quarter total length. You're getting about 3.6 on your total blade length. So it's going to be a full size knife for most guys. It's for guys who like bigger knives. It's going to be in that medium large range. And for guys who have smaller hands, it's definitely going to be a full size uh, bullet coming in over eight inches. Let's go ahead and get a piece of paper out. I just want to test that edge, see how it came. But uh, like I said, you can get these right around that $48 price point, which is exceptional. Uh, for this finishing work, I'm a huge fan. So let's see what it's cutting for. We have the petrified fish. That way nobody thinks I'm joking around here. Petrified fish. Standard piece of paper. Let's see what it does. Has a splendid edge on it. No snags. Yes. 
Yes. That is good stuff, my guys. Good stuff. It's going to slice well. You got a little bit of belly there. I mean, you got quite a bit of belly there. So not only do you have a little bit of straight edge that you can use for, you know, your slicing type task, but then you got your belly there. That'll come in handy for various tasks. And then you got that extremely pokey point. And that's going to allow you to do a lot of piercing tasks. No problem. Cardboard, paper, getting in behind rope, all that sort of thing. This is going to do a phenomenal job. Uh, this is going to be a great EDC. And I expected this to be good, but. I didn't know, I had hopes that it would be the best petrified fish yet. And with that fuller for the thumb flick, for the reverse flick, that front flipper is well dialed, well done. It doesn't stand too tall. It doesn't stand too tall, but it's not too short either. Just right for all of the different ways that you could front flip a knife. The other thing about this guy is it has an awesome sharpening choil. You will be able to sharpen this guy forever. Look at that sharpening choil. That is a sharpening choil. That is very well done. Petrified fish is kind of reminding me of Kubi like two years ago, where, but. Petrified fish is using micartas. They're using G10s. Uh, and, and you can tell petrified fish likes micarta and they like front flippers, uh, which I'm all right with, especially when you incorporate a fuller or hole or a cutout or thumb studs or whatever. Completely fine with it, especially when it's this well done. Uh, just exceptionally well done and it is breaking in even better every single time that i flip it nice hydraulic close boy it's got a stout detent you got to get it in the right spot or you're gonna miss wonder if you can get it down there yeah, see, that's the money spot right there, I think. Just where it, it starts, yeah. And then the thumb flick, you can get right at the top because it is a liner lock. You'll be able to... Needs a little bit of oil. Might need cleaned. We'll do a disassembly of this guy. Full overview of this guy. Full review of this guy, definitely to come. I think this is a true, true winner from Petrified Fish. And I can't wait to see what else they do this year. This model just came out within the last couple of weeks. And it is a great size, great knife. I'm excited to put it through its paces. Look for the disassembly coming soon. Look for the review, overview coming soon and then in a couple weeks we'll do a short-term review of this guy definitely a winner from petrified fish especially for under 50 bucks great little knife thank you guys i love you guys if you're still here i love you if you're still here and you're not subscribed i love you and subscribe give the video a thummy and leave me a cummy down below. Love y'all, and I will catch you on the next one.